I got uh, that one fried rice okay. stuck in my tooth. So like when you talk, that one's gonna fly out anytime, but you don't know when. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Today we got another special guest. He's drunk. And, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm finally. The sleep has finally caught up to me. Uh, from the travel. Yeah. He all busts. Yeah. All busts. I'm on like a eight hour difference, two days. This is the world's time smallest. Zone. Anyway, we have a great guest today. <laughs> <laughs> we, he was so good we had to bring him back again and again one of and my again. favorites and i know uh, he's one of your favorites he's my pocket you want to go down his uh list of accolades did or you just shows? say go down on what go down the list of <laughs> accolades <laughs> happy pride yeah please do she's just here to stir the turd today she's she terrible is rare is for terrible form. comment alec, comment now alec mappa is a national treasure he, he is. literally is america's gaijin <laughs> sweetheart yeah. that has been copyrighted check the record yeah. that's right um, he is my bestie we mm -hmm. have been friends we've seen and done things that we will take to the grave nice. that's true that's um, true and we are trying to move him here that is the next chapter i Hawaii. thought he was moving Post here like two pandemic. years ago what happened we're working Dang. on it. So, well, you know, everyone manifest, yes. manifest. Uh, so, yeah, so this is Alec Mappa, and he's back. Alec Mappa, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Hana Ho. How are you doing, Alec? You know, uh, great. Uh, last time I saw you was at Christmas time when I was guest starring on NCIS. Mm -hmm. yes. And I was just kind of like, please make me a recurring character. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be working on that. <laughs> Vanessa, how you doing, Manila? But, but you haven't been doing so bad. You, you're doing a lot, aren't you? No, I'm doing a lot. I have yeah. my podcast, uh, my own podcast. What's for, it called? Uh, MTV, Viacom, uh, yes. iHeartRadio. It is called Squirrel Friends, the official RuPaul's Drag Race podcast. So awesome. Um, and under the auspices of MTV, I've never done a corporate podcast broadcast before they're everywhere like we have a billboard in times square mm -hmm. wow. which is a, a bittersweet triumph for me because i was a new yorker uh for a long time and broke broke ass broke living in new york city so uh -huh. having a, a billboard with my puss on times square unbelievable you gotta and send us a photo oh, we i will okay. and then um I'm doing a new a show for uh, Disney called The Villains of Valley View, and it stars uh, Lucy Davis. Did you see Wonder Woman? Do you remember the uh, the, uh, the assistant one? to uh, uh, the assistant to? Well, I'm having a brain fart. Was Who it was the, the latest Chris Wonder Pine. Woman? Chris Pine, the British lady, uh, Lucy oh, Davis. She's okay. she's the lead in it, and she was also in Sabrina the. Uh, teenage, uh, the teenage Witch, oh, teenage Dark Witch, Tales, yeah. yeah, on Netflix. She's hilarious, and uh, we just wrapped uh, this week, and it's coming to Disney Plus on June twenty second. Nice. And I play the meddlesome, meddlesome neighbor, uh, head of the neighborhood watch, and the high school principal, Mister Tennyson. <laughs> Your last name is Tennyson. <laughs> Tennyson, Mister. They casted Tennyson. you white. They cast me with a white name. Wow, That's progression. Awesome. Yeah, but you know, who knows? You know, they're all secret villains. I may oh. have a, a secret myself. You I might, might have something. I might. Turn Alec, out tell to every, have powers tell of my everybody uh, what nationalities you are. Why? Uh, well, I'm Filipino, so yeah. who knows? Until uh, those, <laughs> until so who knows? Yeah. Until so quit. until that DNA test comes <clears throat> back from Twenty Three and Me, I could be um, Navajo for yeah. all I know. Uh, th I know for a fact that there's uh, Spanish, uh, Chinese, uh, lots of Chinese on one side of the family, and uh, lots of Filipino on the other side of the family because um, I'm kind of in the middle complexion of my family. Like my mom. They're like albino. <laughs> the science, that's, that's why. That's like, yeah. that's like me too. Yeah, like my zebra. mom is very, very pale, and my father is very dark, so dark. Le when Cano, ba that's why. Back in the 30s and 40s, his uh, his siblings used to tease him that he was really the child of the maids, where, which where is, is a very mean and classist thing to say. Where are they from in uh, the Philippines? Uh, my father's from Iloilo. Oh, really? And, and my mother is from Manila. We went to a, a trip to Iloilo when we were kids. And nice. my father had always told us about the town he grew up with uh -huh. and the local crazy people who hung around the church. And when we went there, he pointed them out one by one. It was like he was telling the truth. Truth. It was like it's <laughs> a one a guy. You know, there's there's the town crazy, there's the town 
slut. There's <laughs> everything. It, they were all still there. Intact. Sounds like my island. Yeah, I was yeah. Gonna, I, I brought up the Filipino thing because um, I don't know if you heard. Because you hate Filipinos? No, I, I'm, ha I'm half. That's going to get you in a lot what? of trouble on this what? podcast. Comment. What do you Cancel mean? Cancel Lanai. I'm half Filipino. <laughs> what, what? And, I, and I just got back from Manila. You yesterday. did? Yeah, yesterday. No, How did I wanted you do? To, I wanted How to, was it? It was awesome. I wanted yeah. to tell you, did you hear that RuPaul was going to shoot the show in Manila? They have a Drag Race Philippines that's yeah. coming to uh, World of Wonder Presents, Wow Presents Plus, yes. in uh, August. My, uh, my friend is part you, of the Let me tell you, those Filipino girls are going to give you everybody, the whole globe, a run for their you money. You know what you're going to see is you're going to see all the former Miss Universes uh, participate. Oh, ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. Ooh. Did you just call some of them, Pia Wartzbach so, some uh, of them you can't drag tell queen? If, you can't tell if they were guys Oh, or they're going to come for we, you. Uh, let well, them, you know, now um, trans women are competing in the tight. Miss USA pageant. I just saw that. And there was just a like gorgeous yesterday. Filipino girl. It's been uh, a while. Who, who won Miss Nevada. Miss Nevada, yeah. If she somebody was, can Google her name. I like the way you say uh, that. She was Miss here. Nevada. She was Nevada. here for the Miss USA yeah. pageant. We got to take a quick break, Alec. Already? Yeah, I know. Right. Time flies when you're having oh fun. Don't fire me. Give me a chance. <laughs> no, we got, we got a long way to go. We'll All be right. right back. More with Alec Mapa. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Alec Mapa is hanging out with us. We're talking about the Philippines, uh, RuPaul Drag Race. You, Do you get to go now, for that? Are you going to go? I want to go. Is Jamie um, going to go? No, uh, I think they I, shot you know, it. I, I, I know they're they shooting. They, nobody's asked me yet because, oh. you know, <laughs> Filipinos, as you know, we're very thrifty. Yes. yes. yes, yes and yes. It, it is uh, far less. You, uh, you, you know uh, what you uh, should do uh, is cost just prohibitive show up. to, to, to uh, take a Filipino. To fly a celebrity around the world to oh, judge a drag Alec, pageant. They have these uh, in the Philippines now. They're doing these massive Comic Cons. And I really think you because you're doing one next year. You should get in, in that the Philippines. Yeah. So the guy I'm going to set you up with to make your merch I they yeah. put those shows they put those shows together he's all waha I'll make sure that I make him do look it. at the greedy look in my eyes right now <laughs> yeah I'm just it's like, not <laughs> as greedy as his look in his eyes but what? it's yeah. about the same what, you know, what like, do you mean I'm, not, the, I'm nothing I'm helping him out what uh -huh. greedy you know like in the Madagascar cartoons where uh, the lion starts mm -hmm. looking at the zebra mm -hmm. and it looks yeah. like a drumstick mm -hmm. like uh -huh. I'm, that I'm gonna eat yeah. that's how I feel about Filipino Comic Con like yeah. I because I did I, I did the that. one um, right before the pandemic, the year before yes. the pandemic, and uh, uh, they brought in Superman because he's <gasps> Filipino. You're talking and about they brought Dean Kane because there's Kane, been a lot of Superman. And then they brought in Dean Kane isn't his he is Filipino. Filipino. He's a quarter. Uh, we can't claim that. <laughs> <laughs> he's not we enough can't. on his birth Sorry. certificate. Huh? Yeah. Brooke and I are so close. That uh -huh. when I want to hear the truth, when I don't want to hear the truth, I can't call her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. If I don't want to hear it spelled out, if I'm like deluding myself yeah. or kind of like, you know, uh, uh, veering off of the straight and narrow path, as I it were. You. And then if, if I don't want to hear the truth, I can't speak to Brooke. Because you're, so you're, like, when you're Brooke trying to not hype spare your up, feelings. Right? She, it's so funny. Like in the first few uh, years of our friendship, maybe in the first few months, Brooke would say, um, okay, gloves off. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she prefaces everything. But see, the thing is like, she always says gloves off. Like it hasn't always been gloves off. Yeah. <laughs> My face has been pummeled <laughs> by, the, by the truth bomb that Brooklyn oh has God. detonated in right my now. face. And look, at even so the dog knows. Truths. The dog can sense the frequency. Oh, the dog's that's barking, know. yeah. Trust me, I've seen yeah, many of the dogs. Okay, sorry wait, about that. Wait a minute, let's go back to you. Uh, go back to the RuPaul show. Tell everybody what you're doing with... Uh, do you mention um, the podcast? I'm hosting... I'm hosting the official uh, podcast for RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. Um, we are we drop new episodes every Monday. It's with the fabulous Lonnie Love. Lonnie Love. Who is America's sister. And mm -hmm. we have so much fun. And um, it's really great covering this thing, which has been like, Brooke has been a part of drag culture since she started modeling, since she was yeah. a little kid. So she knows that it's been like this fringe art form right it's kind of been to the margins and now it's center stage right. all over the globe 
these drag queens have fans everywhere. Mm-hmm. They tour all over the world. Alec, uh, let me ask you this. So it's you, really are, interesting. Are you taking the uh, the winners and you interview them, or is it just everything to do with the RuPaul well, and Drag Race? Well, right now, we're in all-star season, which means okay. they've taken previous winners from um, – uh, uh, as previous seasons, and it's like Thunder Thunderdome. They right. all they're yeah. all in one. But this season, there's a twist. None of them get eliminated. Oh, nice! They're staying on the show week after week, and the top two winners get the power to block a winner the following week. Oh, I see. To yeah. block oh, this somebody is from winning. You know, it's. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of the winners uh, come to perform at Scarlet here in Honolulu. They on, do. Yeah. They do. Yeah. At the last Rainbow Film Festival I attended, Shangela was there. Yes. And uh, yeah, so much oh, fun. So and they all them. love Hawaii. That's yeah. the that's the golden ticket when you we win gotta, the show. We got to take a Hawaii. take a quick break. Uh, we'll be right back more again. With Alec. Yes, I'm sorry. I got to pay the. I got to go to the bathroom. Damn it. We'll be right back <laughs> with it's a Hawaii thing. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. For all your battery needs, visit Hawaii's most comprehensible battery source, Battery Bills, servicing Hawaii since 1982. Visit them in store or online at BatteryBill.com. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. But I have You look so pretty. It looked like you had work done. It looks like she has work done, but I have to tell you all that Brooke is a vampire. Okay, so wait. Yeah, nobody's ever seen her during the day. Have you noticed that? Let's go back to your your gig (laughs) here with RuPaul. Where, mm. where do you shoot the podcast at? We I do it from home. Oh, the the blessed home. thing about the uh, uh, pandemic, the blessings of the pandemic is I have not been to an in-person audition. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. In two what, years. What if we try I book to, everything from home. It's fantastic. What if, what if we try to get you and Lonnie? Lonnie, right? Lonnie yes, Love. Lonnie Love. Lonnie Love. What if we try to get you to do a, like 10 shows from Scarlet? In from Hawaii? Scarlet? Oh, you do my the God. podcast from Scarlet. That would be fantastic. You With can't the afford winners. them. That would be fantastic. MTV can. We have them pay for it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Listen, I can't bite the hand that feeds me. But (laughs) MTV, um, if they were a nationality, they'd be Filipino. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to cut that part out, Kurt. He needs a job. No, don't cut it out. (laughs) Cut that part Did you know that I came this close when I was in my 20s to being the MTV VJ? Remember VJs? When yeah, that was thing? of course. So uh, one of their biggest, uh, first first and biggest Asian markets was Singapore. And it came they down to, English and they, there, wanted, so. they wanted American born Asian people to be VJing in Singapore because they wanted American accents. And yeah. I was one of, it came down to two people and I had tested and I'd signed a contract and I was ready to live in Singapore for eight months. That's crazy because I, I went, didn't get it. I went and auditioned in New York for MTV. You did? But it was for a specialty show. Wow. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I was like 22 when what I just started style? my radio career. Um, that like, was a road to celebrity that no longer exists. No, yeah, nobody the watches VJ. that. The VJ. No, um, so like they had like the hip hop show. They had like oh, a yeah. dance show. They had, so they were doing, I, for, I forget what you it was. You were like urban? No, it wasn't urban. I was working at an urban station. That's how I got the uh, audition. But. Got it. Anyway, no, yeah, Lanai, I, I wish I they wasn't, had it. I, I wasn't hungry when we started this podcast, but just hearing your voice has been like Pavlovian. Now I want to eat everything <laughs> Spam. inside. You want to eat adobo? Spam yeah. it, right? <laughs> the the like last did. time I was in Hawaii um, we ate. in December, the the one Japanese place, the, the mall. Yoko where we Yoko all ate Show. That, we ate at Yoko Show. Yeah. yeah. And it's not coming back. Well, they're opening a new one, but it's going to be a different name. It's going to be really? the same concept. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say much more, but when you oh, come back, it it'll so, be open. I br- it, that broke my heart. That yeah. bro- it was it like my favorite strip joint in, when, yeah. in New York when that closed. It was well, the same and, emotion. And you were right next broken. door too. That's why. So right next door. I, uh-huh. I always stay at that fabulous hotel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just the right down the low. <laughs> no. What the no. down low? No. It's so no. funny because he goes, I always stay at that fabulous hotel. I forgot the name of it. It's the down low. No, it's not. No. The it lay low. No, it's to the left the of, of it. With what's the, rain, the name of the It's across the street from Ross's. The, the hotel we stayed it's at. It's the little Hawaii. boutique hotel. It's the lay low. No, it's not. The what? It's, the shoreline Waikiki. Shoreline oh, Waikiki. Yeah. Right the across shoreline. the street from the Ross. Yeah, by Ross. Which is like, I become my mother. Yeah. Like, all I need is a hotel room, a balcony, and a Ross, <laughs> and I'm happier Fili- than a pig. Filipino, and, and that's why. And a, and a musubi spot right downstairs. Right Remember? downstairs. Yeah. 
That yeah. is heavenly. Yeah. Although the last time I was in Hawaii, I was like, I, I my eyes were bigger than my stomach, and I swear to God, I was like one of those hoarders when a hurricane's coming. Like I bought like ten <laughs> spam musubis, and I by the third one, I wanted to die. I was like, <laughs> You're not supposed to eat more than three. Yeah, well. Alec, I love your uh, energy, <laughs> especially right now. Oh, it's Adderall. And it's Adderall. Adderall. <laughs> This is better you know, living through chemistry. I, I wanted to give them the secret. I wanted to ask you about something, and and you don't you can say you don't want to talk about don't it. Talk if you about don't talk about it. I haven't had it bleached. I don't believe in that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a waste of money. <laughs> don't. <laughs> no, nobody's gonna look down there anyway. No, well, listen. Uh, le- plenty of people look down there, but they're happy yeah. with the color the way it is. So I. <laughs> and I wanted to ask you this because I know you're don't friends with this. him, and you yes. were supposed to do a show don't with him. This. Have you yes. talked with Mr. Baldwin? Oh, uh, okay, and yeah. That situation. Uh, How's he doing? Alec is, uh, you know, Alec is in his sixties. Sixty. Uh, by now, he could be sixty-three, and has six children, all under the age of nine, and a wow. seventh on the way. Is he Filipino? On the way. Is on he, the way. Is Hilaria he Filipino? Is, yeah. Hilaria he is be. pregnant with she's another pregnant baby. She's pregnant again. Yeah. How old is she? I don't know, but she's like a clown car. She oh my just God, keeps coming she's out a of her. Clown car. Literally a piss dispenser. Is she yeah, Filipino? She, I've never. Uh, she must I be. asked she, that already. She's oh. very fertile, minute. whatever she what, is. But she, that's what, um, what. That's not what I was getting to. I was. Yeah. Is he so okay? we text okay. each other. Alec and I text each other okay, every once in a while. He texts me on my birthday. I text him on his birthday, and we check in on each other. He is doing all right. It's okay. you know he is um, absolutely heartbroken that all of this happened. I love him. I like thing, him. But, you know, the more I read about it, uh, seriously, it's like I've done a lot of shows where I've had Wait, to hold on, people. Alec. I'm sorry. Uh, I got to I got to cut you off because we've got to take a break. But hold oh. on thought. We, I know. I'm going to make I'm them sorry. cut all this out. That's a cliffhanger. No, we're not cutting anything out. Yes, we are. We'll be right back with It's Legally. a Hawaii thing. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii, providing your family with their local favorites, Accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. Homeworld, locally owned and quality brands. Let us help you create your perfect home. Beachside Roofing, the leaders. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, talking with Alec Mappa, talking about uh, Alex Baldwin. And, uh, Alec, Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. They're both Alex. Alec Baldwin. Yeah. They're both and, Alec. Anyway, Alec. Alec is doing fine. He's just, you know, it's it's a truly emotional thing. I was about to say that uh, gun safety is so important on sets. Whenever I have had to shoot anybody on a set, the munitions person really right before they yell action goes through the same drill. They show you the gun. They show you that it's fake. They open it up. And then you can shoot, and you're not allowed to do that. So the big bone of contention here in that case is why that didn't happen, and it's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, it's so sad. Is that are you guys? Are you are you a part of the show? No, What's what, happening? I don't we know. We don't Brooke, have. He is missing things Brooke, from his from his sweet bag. Brooks. Uh, oh. But it might be for the best because you're not drinking anymore. Oh, I'm not drinking. I quit alcohol. I'm not hungover like yeah, (laughs) like some people. I'm not hungover. I'm tired. But but what are the other things? Because we don't have that much time. What are the other things that you're working on? Oh, you know, getting my kid into college. I'm at that age. Happy Uh, Father's Day. uh, Thank you, my my son is 17. He's a genius musician and composer. That's awesome. We're trying to get him to. into Berkeley School of Music, which is in Boston, and we just got back from Massachusetts. What so he, fingers crossed. What does he play? What is uh, what's his instrument? He plays drums. He plays bass guitar. He plays slide guitar oh, because he loves Hawaii. That's awesome. What? He loves Hawaii. Yeah, and uh, and you and ukulele. He's nice. very very talented. He is. Um, there are things that uh, my son <laughs> does that come naturally to him that um, I could never do in a million years. Math. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Me too. But you yeah. Asian. What? Yeah, no, I know. Filipino I'm not that kind of Asian. Filipino he's a good Asians, Asian. He's a good Asian yeah. son. Filipino Asians I'm, have trouble. Well, listen, yeah. I've got all the other Filipino stuff. I'm, I'm short. Yeah. I'm lactose intolerant and cheap. <laughs> <laughs> but I you can't don't drink sing. milk or pay retail. Do you, do but you, you don't <laughs> sing either. I Filipinos don't all sing. Either. He missed that I dream too. That or was, dance. That was hilarious. He just said he doesn't pay retail. Do you do you cook Filipino food? Yes, I make great adobo. Yeah, I'm working on my pancit game, which is really really hard. So there's but, a um, 
I don't like all the other scary Filipino okay, stuff. White they're... people are eating Filipino food in the Lower East Side of New York and all these boutique restaurants to prove how hip they are. I they're know. They're eating. I've seen white it. people are eating balut. I saw. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. They are. There's, there's they Filipino are. It's on the menu. They're bugger. eating bugger all. It's a yeah, whole thing. Because it's they a all whole think movement. they're Anthony Bourdain. They're yeah. like, oh, they want so, bragging rights. So Alex, and I'm speaking like, no, of um, Anthony Bourdain, so this last trip I went back, I went met with uh, Chef Claude Tagai. Do you know who that is? No. He's like the Anthony Bourdain of the Philippines. Ooh. Anyway, no, um, yeah, except he's alive. Anyway, he's he does a, he writes a column for the number one newspaper in the Philippines, and I told him that I would ask you because he's asking different fil- Filipino celebrities mm-hmm. their story about adobo. Oh, would you, yeah. So this is your ticket into the to the uh, Philippines. Uh, well, I never I never cooked before I had a kid. I know I was like not a cook. And well, I guess I, the question is, would you be interested in doing a story with the paper in the Philippines? Absolutely, because I okay, make my cool. favorite adobo, which was hand, a recipe given to me by the New York Times Filipino chef. Um, <laughs> It's on YouTube. Wait if a minute. You go, why You don't have your own recipe? Yeah, lie and say it's from your Lola. <laughs> yeah. no, okay, it's from my Lola. <laughs> there you go. It's, um, I, I based the chicken in coconut vinegar. Oh, and yes. Coconut that's the milk best. Yes. And soy sauce and tons of garlic and bay I'm sorry. It's there's so coconut good. vinegar? Yeah, that, coconut so that's, vinegar. You, that's the one you have to use. The coconut Where do you vinegar. get cook? What and then coconut vinegar? Anywhere come from? it comes at anywhere. any Asian any, supermarket yeah. at any but Asian store. But the key store. thing that he said was the coconut milk because a lot of right. people don't do adobo in coconut, coconut milk. milk. It, that yeah. comes from me, Locos Norte, I think. Yeah. Up, up and um, kinilau, which I kinilau, like to make I in the love summertime. Kinilau. Yeah, that's like uh, Filipino ceviche. Yes. Nope. And uh, it is like a poke, but the fish, the raw fish, is cooked by the vinegar. Yeah. Okay, we gotta, yeah, yeah. We gotta wrap oh, up. I'm gonna give you all your free stuff so now. Brooke's gonna oh give God. you You're some You're getting drink. a bougie bottle. That's a bottle. water oh, bottle. There, this Manoa chocolate, it's got whiskey in it, but it's cooked off because it's okay. chocolate. Oh my Macadamia God. nuts from Manihuni Max. I love it. Those are expensive. More <laughs> more 88 t-shirts, but with oh, our, logo, our on logo on it. Hawaii, on it. It's a oh, Hawaii thing logo. Show them the other t-shirt with you um, on it. We have you, more chips coming for you for Hawaii Chip Show Company. Show the other t-shirt Snacks you sent you me on. last time. The care package was so great. We love it. There's me and Brooke. And then we became characters on 88Ts. Oh, that's brilliant. I think you need to do an Alec Mappa character. Oh, I love it. Because of your glasses. So we're mailing all of this to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Alec, it's been such a nice time chatting (laughs) with you. I don't want to leave. No, we're not leaving yet. We're going to do the extended version. And you can swear in Ilocano. On uh, on, uh, YouTube. Okay. Yeah, where can everyone find you? You can find me at Alec Mop on Instagram and Twitter. Okay, and then um, your I answer podcast. all DMs. Uh, uh, so Shh. just uh, talk to me. Let me know that you're out there. And tell and everybody your podcast. listen to me every Monday yeah. on the iHeartRadio uh, app or anywhere you get podcasts to listen to Squirrel Friends, the official RuPaul's Drag Race podcast. This has been the noisiest Lonnie podcast Love. we've ever done. Bushy Thank bye. you, Alec Mappa. Thank you guys for watching. You're welcome. Check us out on it's YouTube. not bleached. We'll see you next time. I'll be home. <laughs> Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, the extended version. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell uh, so we can let you know when we have new, new shows. And please leave a comment. Don't comment. Yeah. Oh, show, don't read the comments. They're poisonous. Uh, yes, they are. Only to Brooke. Okay. Welcome back, Alec Mappa, really? ladies and gentlemen. You're yeah. so mean to Lanai. Why are you so mean? Why yeah. Do you oh. mean? yeah, she always picks on me so my, my fans get nuts. They get mad at me. My yeah. fan. Yeah. <laughs> My fan, my fan. mother, my mom. Yeah, yeah. my mom. Your fan gets upset, Brooke. and my mom loves Brooke. She fan. like supported her when oh, she was in running for one. the pageants and oh, everything. Kahi. And then one. Brooke doesn't mean she just keeps it real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, she's if you mean can't sometimes. handle it, you my must mom, be you must be this tall. My mom, <laughs> my mom can't. Right? My mom can't handle it. Hi, yeah. Really, she's an old Filipino lady. Oh, you know what I mean. Does she? Does but she likes Brooke. You're saying? Oh, she loves Brooke. Okay, well, everybody loves Brooke. Yeah, Brooke is great with parents. Well, who is your um, favorite? Uh, who's your favorite drag queen? Because they're all so don't say that, bro. You're on a podcast. They're this so, is dangerous. All of them are water. So RuPaul. Hedge oh, vampire. RuPaul has been pretty generous about having me on the show. I was a judge last season. I nice. was a coach on All Stars before that. So they keep coming back. They keep having me back. And and the first time, I was raised by a rageaholic Filipino dad, so I know how to read a room. So the first time <laughs> I was on the show. 
I was like, oh, she's in work mode. She's being Oprah right now. I'm not going to get in her way. But the next couple times I was on, she was always like, hey, how are you? Come over, sit by me and gossip. And so I have a lot of fun. So I can safely say RuPaul. And can I we, I, I can we say anybody. that Jamie's working? What isn't he on? Wasn't he working with the show? Or Jamie was uh, one Tell of who Jamie, Jamie worked is. briefly on Jamie is RuPaul's the love of his Drag life. You. And um, net, but now he's a big shot producer on um, Discovery Plus. He is the story producer uh, for uh, Ghost Hunters. Ghost oh, Hunters, nice. bra. Uh, right on Discovery Plus. So um, people love those we, ghosts. Oh, Rook, yeah. you're gonna like this. The first week that we started working on Ghost Hunters, we <laughs> say we that Jamie started working on Ghost Hunters. We both started having bad dreams. <gasps> you better so sage it was like, that so whole the place, very bro. next day. I lit Sage, we went all around the room, I saged his right. computer, I saged the phone, I said, we're just here to tell your story. Yeah, yeah. We're not here to mess with anybody. Right. If you want a story told, you can tell it to us, but we're not here to mess with anybody or hurt anybody or insult right. anybody. So then the the bad dream stopped. You See. need to send him some tea leaf and Hawaiian salt. See, tell him to get put that yeah. in the work that in they the show. They want to come somehow. here and do some stories There's from here. So There's so many yeah. here. So many. Yeah, one of our one of the people who works on Jamie's show is afraid of flying. He's not uh, afraid of ghosts, but he's really he's. A, <laughs> he's Brooke, not Brooke of and I used to watch a scary show on MTV <laughs> called Fear. Where they, <laughs> I and, remember that. That is so that good. And that one was... of the ones they went to was an abandoned sugarcane factory processing yes. place in Hawaii. Yeah. Remember? That's yeah. So funny. And we I used to get really show. spooked by that show. And we would watch that show and go, I'd never do that in a million years. And then well, he'd have to sleep over because I'd be like, you can't leave now no. because yeah. I'm not going to be in this house by myself. Yeah. What? yeah. And uh, then I... um, on Jamie's show, the ghost hunters spend two nights in the place with no lights at all. That's terrible. With motion detectors, <laughs> so, temperature That's temperatures. your dream job. You're asking yeah. for trouble. That's your dream no. job. I'm would, you that 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 I? would you do no, that, Would you do that? No, no, I'm not into oh, that. He's now. a panty. I, no, it's not even that. It's the, I don't even watch those shows because I believe there's enough negativity around me. I don't need any more. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's really yeah. the truth though. I don't watch the news anymore. Oh, I don't yeah. like to watch the news because it's so negative. It's like the haunted mansion. A hitchhiking go ghost will follow you home. Yeah, I, yeah. You're never going to see a Filipino yeah. person on a ghost hunter show. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, nope. Don't fuck with ghosts. No, nope. yeah, totally. You know what I wanted to ask you, Alec? You know what? Uh, you know it's how still these... not bleached. Stop asking <laughs> you, me that question. You know it's really how, inappropriate. You know, you know how these shows, these uh, like uh, American Idol and all these singing shows. Yeah. When they're done, they do a tour. You should yes. go take the, all the winners and do a tour around the world. Of the, what? The drag race oh, Ru winners. RuPaul's? Yeah, the winners. Oh, they're already doing that on their own. Are they? No, oh, but you're... Gosh, you're, there's a European tour. There's a South American tour. But not for RuPaul. Host, it's not for RuPaul, though. They all have their own individual yeah. branding, they ha right? Yeah. They ha there's one that is produced by a company called Voss. And because I, I know a lot about... I don't know why I know about their contracts, but I do. After <clears> you're signed on the show, you are signed to this tour. The official um, RuPaul's Drag Race tour that is similar to the American Idol tour Idol, where they go yeah, cross yeah. country. Yeah, but you, the but you, they don't have you hosting them. They don't have me hosting. Yeah. I don't want to be on the road. I'm too old for that. No, you just I need a big nap ones, every like day. The Hawaii Dude, one. I tried to get him to you judge just... Miss USA the year that Miss Nevada was uh, okay. I'm going to stop you right now. I'm going to stop you right now. She wanted me to go to Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. it's the first year there's going to be a trans contestant. What? Don't you want to be there? He's What's like, wrong? I'm not going to Oklahoma. What's wrong with I've Oklahoma? already worked in Oklahoma. I'm not doing. I made Oklahoma. a promise to myself. That I would never work there again. <laughs> <laughs> Even on behalf of the first trans person that was like competing in the Listen, company, he's like, she's Oklahoma. getting enough press with or without yeah, me. She does like, not need this. Oklahoma is a deal breaker. I'm not going to Oklahoma. That is so I have funny. never. Listen. Uh, listen, I, you know, I don't know who in Oklahoma listens to this show, but I really, honestly, I don't give a shit. I, I walked into a diner in Hugo, Oklahoma, and usually, you know how you walk into a strange town, you're like, hi, everybody. It was filled with people who looked like, I'm not kidding, they looked like the villains on Scooby-Doo. All hagged out, like old, mean people. And they looked at us. They looked at me, like, with hatred in their eyes, like, get up. Like, 
<laughs> I didn't. It was the only. It was the only American city I've ever been through where I was like, I can't wait to see this in the. They're like, get back <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> I cannot. I didn't even uh, know there that's... was a Hugo. Well, I, I, I was like, where are all the people from the musical? Where are the <laughs> dancing cowboys? That's oh, the Oklahoma God, I know. Where the wind goes right through the place. Oh my God, it was awful. It was awful. There was no. there. There has to be a pretty hefty paycheck. Yeah. For me to go, I, if I'll go to Oklahoma, if I get a kitchen and bathroom model out of it, that's oh, yeah. that's why I'm going to Oklahoma. Well, maybe you you do the RuPaul thing. You host only the big ones, like the Hawaii one and the Philippines one. Okay, all right. And I'll Hawaii's really, the big I'll one, not on New York. Oh, well, 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 because you know this is the drag queen. A lot of people are saying this is one of the biggest drag queen spots. Hawaii? Yeah, because we've been doing the drag queen thing before the drag queen thing was on television. You had, um, there have been a couple, there was a Hawaiian contestant, half Hawaiian this year, named... Uh, Starts oh with a C. Gosh. Starts with a C. Carrie Colby. Yes. Carrie Colby, she, gorgeous. She, she gorgeous. performs at she Scarlet looked Hawaiian. all the time. She, mm-hmm. she looked like she was copying Brooke Lee. Like, <laughs> she looked like, if you go to her Instagram, Thank Carrie you. Colby, it looks like she oh, looked at the... Sh- Hawaiian, the Hawaiian Airlines airline airplane. 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 Yeah, like I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Um, and then there was another one, uh, uh, Britta. Yeah, Britta, who's from Hawaii, yeah. Hawaiian contestant. But New York is where it all started in the drag. Well, yeah, wherever. But it, I'm just saying it was community. most accepted here. Like it was so big and around forever. I remember yeah. growing up as a kid, a drag would perform at the Luau or whatever. Wow, you know? amazing. Yeah. I have to ask you a food question. What's the What's the hip place to eat in Hawaii now? What's the hip boutique food in Hawaii now? Here we oh, go. Oh, there's so many. Here yeah. we go. What's, yeah. What, what did you, what's the last thing you ate in Hawaii that was like, oh my God, this is delicious. I have to tell everybody about it. Um, She'll be mad if I mention her name. Who? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, let me see. Someone just won a beard, James Beard Award and Miro. Fett. Oh, the oh, lady, Fett. The lady Fett from just Fett won just won a James Beard James Award. Beard Award. She's Korean. She, um, she's Korean. Husband yeah. and wife team yeah. at FET in downtown, right? Yeah, we were trying yeah. to get on our show a, f- a <clears throat> lot. She, a what was the food? Um, she does like an infusion of uh, Korean. Um, yeah, she's Korean, but you can tell there's some dashes of an, an infusion. An infusion. Yeah, not a, not a fusion. fusion. An infusion. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but it's else? like Vietnamese. Like, isn't it a Korean no. Vietnamese? All of that sounds good. Like, there's some Asian stuff in there. Asian-American. Pan, Was it like Pan American. A, a bulgogi ban mi. Yeah. No. Oh, you know where it's really good? Right down the street from her is O'Kim, O'Kim's or mm-hmm. what's O'Kim's? It? O'Kim's. Yeah. It's a Korean uh, Irish spot. It's a hole in the wall, and they're doing Ooh. gourmet Korean food. Like oh my God, lunch, we just like gave them a the lunch commercial, style. so they owe us dinner. <laughs> it is O'Kim's. Ma- Google them. It is, look at the pictures. Brooks really took me to good. a fabulous place my first night in Hawaii last time. Oh, she, we went to Hawaii Inn. He won Hawaii. So Hawaii isn't good. Because so, he was living, he was in town. So oh, went we to went to, yeah. Yeah, we, went we to spent Kapaako. my per diem on Hawaiian food. It was you yeah. got to go to Ethel's Grill and Elena's. Those are my Ethel's two. Ethel's Grill? And Young's Fish Market. Yeah, those, Ethel's Grill yeah, is He's a, talking about Hole in the Wall. Hole in the Wall that is, that's where I took Bourdain and then he went back to film. Oh, at that's Ethel's? how good it is, yeah. At Ethel's. Amy Hill yeah. took me to the most amazing supermarket. It's a Japanese supermarket, but it had a weird name like Matadors or something. Marukai. No, he knows about it. It wasn't Marukai. It was a Japanese. It Matadors? Had everything. <laughs> it had Spanish. a food cart. You could buy a car. Like it like <laughs> it was all in one and it was massive. And I was 99 like, 99 Ranch could live Market. Here. 99 Ranch 99 Ranch Market. She don't know that. It place. wasn't 99 huh? Ranch. It was in town. Don Quixote. Oh, Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a Japanese. why it had a Spanish name, and I was yeah. like, that's "You're like bizarre. Matadors." <laughs> yeah, it's like, why am I in a Japanese <laughs> market named after Cervantes? That's one of character. my favorite stores. You can get a rice cooker and a fingernail clipper. Yeah, it's it's Most a great. Most importantly, store. don't mix and up unagi. the two. That could be yeah. very painful. And unagi. and you know, in that store, all the chefs are Filipino. So if you go in the back, you can buy pinak bet, pancit. Oh. Adobo, lumpia, and At then right next, yeah, in Kaheka? yeah, and then, and then right next to it, you'll have nishime. Oh my god! And I, I just, I just can't eat food. the scary Filipino stuff. I can't eat dinaguan, which is made. I with can't blood. eat that either. Yeah, that's scary. It's like oh, what's bagong? Bagong is shrimp paste. Oh, yeah, bagong is shrimp paste. It tastes like feet. I thought I, gonna, you know, my grandmother like used to say this kept us alive during the war, and I was like, <laughs> I can see how if I had a choice between starvation or that, you know. I would, you know, like if I was in a plane that had crashed, I would still eat the fat lady in. <laughs> place, like, <laughs> in but um, I, uh, she, all, I, my grandmother was always making that dinagu on this big bloody stew, and I was like, "What are we, the yeah, Adams family?" Uh, <laughs> ch- chocolate meat, we call that. Nope. Uh, 
right before the uh, Alec, before the pandemic, I got to go to the Philippines for a month and do this special with CNN with these two chefs, and we traveled all the different regions. You're amazing. And I feel all like the... while I'm napping, you're like globe trotting. Well, right? I'm like, yeah, and then you're he complains about in constant it. motion. I'm not, and you like my Panty. energy. You're like. The Tasmanian devil compared to me. No, I'm conserving right now. No, I, but but I, what I was gonna say was the we went all around the Philippines and tried the different regional foods. Oh. I don't know if you know, but there's the as far as one country, there's more styles of food or just mm-hmm. as much as like Spain, yeah, or or Italy. Well, yeah, well, not there's even seven thousand one hundred and seven islands, islands in the Philippines, yes. but and they each have their own cuisine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a show that was based around what we did and I'd like to for you to come and host some of those. Um this is on video, Kurt. So make yeah. sure you take a clip of this and yeah, send it to his agent. Yeah, take a clip of this and send it to my agent so yeah. you can't you can't yeah. well, the, out the, of this. The I'm problem, going. The problem Aggie. is I got to raise the money to do it. <laughs> and and Yeah, cuz uh, he ain't cheap. This but, is like every network meeting I've ever <laughs> had. Alec, so, we love you. We'll that's be why, in touch. Let's take a walk. That's why you that's why I, I'm happy you brought up the MTV thing. Walk no, with me. but anyway, I would really like to talk to you about it because we were talking about Walk getting, with me. We Brooke, were getting... Brooke remembers the talk. You know what's so funny? Brooke and I, when I was first starting to work in television, Brooke would come to my tapings of the show I was doing with Jason Bateman. Uh-huh. And after the show, we would walk around the Paramount lot, which has the most beautiful gardenia Gardenias bushes everywhere. everywhere I fragrant. Mean. Oh, and yeah, Brooke would just lot. pick them off of the front. And I was like, Brooke, that's Julie. And she said, native land rights. <laughs> native land. land gathering rights. You're like, we're in Hollywood. I don't yeah. care. So every right. time I every time I work at uh, Paramount and I pass by those uh, gardenias, I think of Brooke. That's so classic. All right, Alec, we got to go. I wish you could just stay and do all it's the... It's done already? I know. But you've already got like two shows you're doing with him in the Philippines. You're oh, going yeah. on a tour. Uh, like yeah, it's all on, it's yeah. all captured on video. I want to go to the Philippines and you got to send me the your merch guy. I'm going to do it today and, right and, right when we hang up i'm gonna do it I'll make him and do the it. filipino <clears throat> con um yes uh, it's the same stuff. guy it's the same guy so you're gonna fantastic keep, does he live in the philippines? philippines no he's uh in china he, he's from the big island he's uh alan oda you know alan. Oh, I know alan yeah and he him and his partner created like four factories in china i'll cut him out Guangzhou. i'll just call alan but oh but all God, their I artists have my own happy meal toys <laughs> totally a lot of their artists are from the philippines because they're so talented uh, so like, talented drawing so talented. and sketching and yeah so yeah. anyway, we'll talk soon. All right. I love you both. I love, I love you. you. Alec Mappa, Happy and Father's Day. Make sure you follow him on his uh, Instagram, his social follow media, me also at his Instagram, podcast. Yeah. At Twitter. Listen yes. to me every Monday on the iHeartRadio podcast app or wherever you get your podcasts. I am the host of Squirrel Friends, the official RuPaul's Drag Race podcast with Lonnie Love. You can watch me on uh, Disney Plus, June 22nd, Villains of Valley View, episode three. Mm-hmm. Congratulations on all your success. We're so proud all right. of you. Love you guys. Bye. Love you. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the Bye. channel. Don't it's a Hawaii comment. thing. Aloha. Don't comment. It's a Hawaii thing. Whoa. It's a